This episode of Jet Ranger of Another Tomorrow is brought to you by Fenwick Brand Single Suits with the patented size adjuster mechanism. One size really does fit all. Last time on Jet Ranger of Another Tomorrow. After an unsuccessful attempt by Emperor Marcus's agents to steal Dr. Sterling's prototype radio death ray. Madam President orders Jet and Sir Philip to escort Dr. Sterling and his invention to a secure laboratory on Mars by rocket ship. Anxious for adventure, little Billy snows away. Emperor Marcus of the planet Zongolia, having learned of the plan to move the radio death ray, instructs his henchmen to intercept the device. And now, brace yourself for more thrill-crammed action in this chapter of Jet Ranger of Another Tomorrow! I will feel a lot better when my radio ray is safely in the Mars laboratory. Don't worry, Doctor. We'll be there in no time. There they are. Remember, Mongus wants Dr. Sterling taken alive. What was that? We're being attacked by Mongus's rockets. Hold on tight. survivors. Guess what, Sterling? You're coming with us. I don't understand. Where are you taking me? You're going to see Emperor Mongus. <laughs> Should we check to see about Jet? Nah, no one could have survived that. But. Ah. <sighs> Are you all right, my dear? I'm fine. Where's Dr. Sterling? Mongus' soldiers took him. They'll have taken him to Mongus' palace. We have to get him back. Come on. Mr. Kelly, get me my adventuring trousers.
Hailmongus! Ah, Captain Zargo. What do you have for me? My liege, I have brought you the Earth Scientist, Dr. Sterling, as you ordered. Well then, Zargo. And what of that meddlesome jet? Jet will be troubling you no more. I have finished Jet for good. Of this I am 98% sure. Excellent. What do you want with me? You, my good doctor, are going to my laboratory and you are going to finish your radio death ray for me. Then I will demonstrate its power by using it to destroy the city of Montreal. Never! I built the radio raid to benefit humanity, not to destroy it. Oh, I think you'll change your mind. Captain Zargo, take him to my laboratory and have him fitted with a hypno helmet. No! Not the hypno helmet! Anything but the hypno helmet! No, not that! <laughs> <laughs> The secret entrance. If we can sneak in this way, Mongus will never see us coming. But what are we going to do about that guard? I have a plan. Are you all right? Oh, Jet, I was so worried for you. I wanted to help, but I, I must have been knocked over in the fight. Sure you were. Well done, Mr. Kelly. Quick, Sir Philip, put on his suit. If we run into anybody, we can tell them I'm your prisoner. Are you sure that uniform will fit? Don't worry. All Fenwick brand single suits are fitted with a size adjuster mechanism. So one size fits all. Exactly. How convenient. What do you think of my little device, Doctor? Soon the hypno ray will turn you into a brainless zombie. My slave. Your madman. You'll never break the human spirit. Why do people always say that? Captain Zargo, start the machine. No, I will never submit. I will never submit. I will never... Mogus. You will build me a radio death ray. Yes, my liege. Emperor Mongus. That's impossible! Or at least, highly improbable. You fool! You have failed me again. And I do not tolerate failure. No, my liege. Please have mercy. I have no mercy. Merciless I am. I do not know the meaning of the word mercy. So I will give you one more chance. Thank you, my liege. Do you wish me to send a squad to capture Jet? No. The Gurad Beast will take care of them.
Mongus' palace should be up ahead. That sounds big. Does he do that a lot? Right? What happened? You fainted again. Oh, how frightfully absurd. Whatever happened to that odious monster? Even the most deadly beasts are vulnerable to a pointy stick. Come on, let's get out of here. One moment. This cave floor is frightfully filthy. Mr. Kelly, my lint brush. <laughs> Blast! That meddlesome jet! has defeated my Gurad beast. My liege, let me lead a squad into the passage, and I will dispose of Jet once and for all. No, I have a much better idea. We will let them come right into the palace. Right into a trap! <laughs> <laughs> it's quiet. Very quiet. It's so quiet I can hear how quiet it is. I don't understand it. This is a science lab. Shouldn't there be someone doing science? I'm doing science. Dr. Sterling, are you all right? Cannot talk. Must do science. Dr. Sterling, it's us. We're here to rescue you. Must do science for Emperor Mogus. All hail Mogus. All hail Mogus. He doesn't seem to be himself. Look, it's a hypno helmet. My word! Not a hypno-helmet! Mr. Kelly, remove it from Dr. Sterling! Stop! The helmet's electrons are holding Dr. Sterling's brain cells together! You can't All just remove it! Mogus. All hail Mogus! Must do science! All hail Mogus! All hail Mogus! Oh no, he's working on the radio ray. Must complete radio death ray for Master Mogus! Master must destroy... Montreal. So that's his fiendish plan. Yes. And it's a shame you won't be around to tell anyone. Captain Zargo, bring our guests to my throne room. Welcome to the planet Zongolia, Jet. I hope you and your friends like the new clothing I have provided. They're fine, but I don't know why you made us wear them. In exactly ten hours, my radio death ray will destroy the city of Montreal. Earth hours or Zongolian hours? Zongolian hours. But why? Why destroy Montreal? The radio ray was designed for peace, not destruction. Why? Because this way, I will finally get the attention of the President of Earth. That delectable temptress, Vivian. This is awkward. And by get her attention, I mean get her to realize the power that I wield. 
and that if she does not surrender the earth to me, I will destroy city after city until the entire planet is reduced to rubble. The people of Earth will never capitulate to the tyranny of a dictator. You can never break the human spirit. Wherever free people are, they will always rise up against oppression and the forces of evil. It is every Earth woman and man's duty to rise up against those who would destroy our way of life. Those are brave words. You would make an excellent commander in my army. Join me, and I will spare your life, Jet. Were you even listening to anything I just said? Join me, or it will be the pit for you. I would rather die than join you. Very well. You have made your choice. Throw her in the pit. arrive in time to save her. Will Sir Philip and Mr. Kelly have to go on alone? Will Emperor Marcus destroy Montreal with Dr. Sterling's radio death ray? For the answer to these and many other burning questions, see The Ray of Death, the next Holocaust of Excitement-packed chapter of Jet Ranger of Another Tomorrow!